Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bray Torin. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Age of Wonders Planetfall. So before we get started, I want to mention something that I should have mentioned last uh, episode in the first episode, but I completely forgot about it. I even forgot when I made the video public to put the link down in the description of the video. This is a Paradox game, and I am a Paradox affiliate. Uh, so that means uh, that if you use the link that is in the description of this video and the last one uh, to purchase the game, if you happen to be interested in, in buying it, uh, so if you use that link, uh, then that, and I think that is for the PC version though, I don't know if there's any way for me to, you know what, I'm not entirely sure how it works with console versions since this whole Paradox having console uh, versions, I have no idea how that works. I know for PC versions, they give you the code on the uh, Paradox store, and then you use that on Steam to get a Steam version of the game. Uh, as far as uh, you know, on the consoles, I'd assume it would be the same thing. You could buy it on the store and then use the code on the console, but I don't really know how it works. But essentially, if you're buying it on PC, I know for sure this will work. Uh, go down to the description of the video, use that affiliate link, and then a uh, percentage of any money you spend, even if you buy additional games and DLCs and stuff, uh, any money you spend in the store after you use that link, uh, will uh, we'll get a little percentage of that. Uh, so it definitely helps the channel out. We appreciate it. Uh, and if you're going to buy it anyways, then might as well, you know, help the channel out. So just want to let you guys know about that. And yeah, we can go get started. Uh, it is Jinx's turn and we left Doing off in this battle. battle. I think before you're going to do the battle, I thought you're going to look at the units, but she didn't. No, I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you'll be able to attack now because you did that. Oh, well, I guess we'll see. So yeah, if you want to look at the units. Yeah. And Oops. we'll try and take a look. See, I did that battle last time, guys, and I did not even, I didn't feel comfortable with the, with my own units. Like, I didn't know what they did and stuff, because mm -hmm. I hadn't even looked at them. Usually when I play off camera, first thing I do is, is look at all my oh, units yeah. are and their abilities, but for time purposes, I didn't do that. I don't know if you want to, like, open them up oh, okay. to, so we can actually take a look at, like, their resistances and weaknesses. So these guys are, are you know, they resist because they're mechanical. They resist zionic attacks, uh, but they're actually weak against both arc and thermal attack so yeah i don't know it feels like you got a pretty good advantage here i can't charm them yeah they are robots you know but <laughs> not gonna be able to charm them jinx but do they all have yeah it looks like they all have that they don't have very high attack power either their attack power is kind of garbage do they have a lot of defense or something then no 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 they don't have mm -hmm. a lot of armor or... i was just wondering why their army power was 510 when they only have four dudes yeah i don't know i don't know what it is about Wally. them <laughs> All right, some of them have armor. Yeah, some of them have some armor, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, right. that, that must be what it is. We're going to attack. So we need to make sure when you do the attack, you can go and initiate. We can get it loaded. Oh, what is this? Uh, that's oh, that's... okay, that's the, the thing underneath them. Mm -hmm. Attack! All right, Jinx is going to attack him. I mean, you got a significant attack power advantage. I mean, it's not as good as the one I had, but I feel like you got this, Jinx. Okay. Maybe you've been do it without losing any units like I fucking did. I figured I would lose just because it's my first battle in front of everybody. And Jinx is really nervous. I am. Her hands are super sweaty. I have a feeling when I get the controller back. It's going to be soggy. Hmm. Maybe that's why they have such high attack power. Whatever the hell he oh. just did. He boosted them. Enhanced targeting. Oh. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So remember, you want to use any any like a uh, arc or thermal, thermal attacks that yeah. you have. Now yo, your character has mostly thermal attacks. Man, I can't remember how to fucking play. I was gonna play last night. I was gonna. You start spent a game all day creating characters. I did didn't not you create like three all day. characters? Or well, something that's like because that? I didn't have time to start a game. It took me too long to create the first one. And so Jinx created two more, which took like another three hours. Yeah. <laughs> she had plenty of time to play. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Alright, so I remember because these characters can't go. I can't put them to sleep. Because you can't do Overwatch, you might as well use all your time. Unless you wanted to put them in defense, but I guess it's up to you. I do kind of want to. I feel like if I move out here, then I'm not going to have anything to hide behind. You Can, can you hit them from there? No. Oh, okay. Probably not. Alright, so. Wait, can I pew pew them? Oh, you can't do it from here, no. Jinx. <laughs> what, you think you're a sniper? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is your biomancer. Yeah. All right, so. Go to sleep. Oh, uh, yeah. Jinx will uh, be slower, guys. It's just, 
expect that. I mean, she's been faster in the turn so far, but I mean, in the battles, she'll probably be a little bit, a little bit Maybe. slower. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. If Once you just I get press comfortable the... with my recklessness in front of everyone. Mm -hmm, when you stop giving a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that happens really fast, so <laughs> bear with me through this first battle. And remember, you can press the down directional pad to put them in defense. Yeah. Rather than having to do it through the menu. Uh, they have very good hotkeys in the game, man. Oops. I'm digging the game, though. I started a campaign last night, guys. Uh, I started with the Syndicates. I didn't get very far. Maybe like four or five turns. Uh, those are the... They're kind of like slavers. Uh, merchant, trader, slaver. Uh, they're the elites, essentially. Uh, wait, how many damn people I got? That's six. <laughs> six peeps. Yeah, you might want to keep them where they're not all together, because remember those area uh, effect attacks will screw your units up like they did mine, man. I got hit, what was it, four units got hit all together in my battle? It's rough. Your move, Wally. Nah, they're going to stay on the defense. Oh, they're in Overwatch, too. God damn them. All right. All right remember you have that blinding ability. This is telling you that if you go there, you're going to get hit in Overwatch. That's what the red thing is. Yeah, but they don't have eyeballs, so, like... How does that work? <laughs> you can hit them from there with a green for your Huntress. You're going to get shot at, but there's not really anything to be done about that. Because uh, I don't see, unless your bird guy has an attack that can, uh, you know, disrupt their overwatch, which I doubt. I don't know what your bird guy does, but I, you, can, yeah, you can't hit them from there. You're going to have to. Uh, Gotta go in there. Let him shoot you. Damn it. Yeah, I'm going to die. <laughs> Game over, Yeah, but man. look at how much attack you do. And Jinx also has that ability oh, that messed me up, the flash arrow, uh, which which blinds them. And it can stagger them out of their overwatch. So can I blind them? I don't know why you wouldn't. To non-ethereal targets. So... I don't know what non Is ethereal? Is that like ghost? Yeah, it looks like you oh, blinded okay. them. Okay, alright. You got soot in their eyes. Mm -hmm. Or some shit. Now, they also are the ones that had the good green attack, though, so... Yeah. You could move know. a little bit closer and get under behind that rock with your... A little bit of space left, or not. I think he had like a little, see? A little spot there to block. I'm gonna be helping Jinx out, guys. Uh, Jinx doesn't play a ton of strategy games. She does like them, though. Uh, certain kinds, anyway. Can't get her to play Hoya 4, though. No. Like, it would just be you telling me where to move shit. Well, that wouldn't be any fun. Somebody had a suggestion. I can't remember what the hell it was, but it sounded like it would work. So like, I think they were saying, like, just my I, I think their suggestion was that I do all the the movement controlling it, mm -hmm. and then you make the decisions or something like that, I think is what somebody suggested. There's a lot of people who watch My Heart's Matter 4 that really want to see Jinx. What? Why? Like, I, I know you read the comments. Don't act like you don't know, Jinx. Jinx want to stand Still here and though, act like... I don't know why. Getting on that rock might give you an advantage, because you'll have the height advantage. Yeah, but he's going to be all by himself, and he's going to get killed. Oh, this is your biomancer. Yeah. Hmm. What do you? What all abilities do you have? He's got a blaster. Yeah, he's got that. He just manipulates people. Yeah, I don't think you can put him to sleep. We got a heal ability, so you could always heal that's that true. unit that took the, I could. the damage. What's yeah, the scanning there do? I think I look at them. Reveal detailed information of the weakness of this target. All units uh, of this type become scanned until the end of the combat, giving them negative two resistance to all damage types. Mm, okay. Well, sure. that seems Are there other? useful. Yeah, there's, there's a one other wallies. one. Yeah. So you could always use that, or you could heal. It's up to you. I'm gonna take a peek at the wallies. All right. So this is this is your main character who's got that those fire abilities. You should be able to mess them yeah, up kind of bad. Yeah, right up close. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Do you don't have, have a, a range blaster, attack. Though. Yeah, I would make use of that. Or you could have healed your buddy yeah. over there. That's fine. She's gonna die. <laughs> It'd probably be really good if you could get that guy taken out. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's gonna be possible. It would be nice. What are your abilities, your little your bird? He swoops. <laughs> He's swoopy. I, swoops. Swoop down for a melee attack, entering defense mode afterwards. Oh, so you can... Yeah, he's too far. Yeah, I don't think you can do oh, it. It's a only, melee attack. Okay, you gotta swoop over him. Does he have a laser? Uh, he has an attack. Yeah, laser repeater. Oh, 
shit, he's got freaking laser beams on his head. You didn't see the laser beams on his head? No. Yeah, it was actually, they had a little joke about it in one of the trailers with the Amazons. Enemy down. They're talking about the dinosaurs oh, and stuff. Because he was burning. Oh, that's right. Oh, we're oh, all burning. Oh, everybody's burning. This Fantastic. probably has to do with this, the map, the special map. But remember, they take more burning damage, Jinx. Yeah, well, I'm feeling kind of toasty. I feel like you got this, Jinx. And everyone's You better get your dying. bird out of there or heal him up. Oh, yeah, never mind. He's dead. The bird's dead. God damn it. The goddamn bird Swoops. is dead. The pterodactyl. I don't know if it was Swoops. a pterodactyl, but that was its name. Okay. Its name was Swoopy Swoops. Yeah. Kill your friends. <laughs> Thanks, right. pal. So you should be able to, yeah, you should be able to win this round easily. I wouldn't, I, I would just start doing some serious damage to these dudes at this point. I don't have serious damage. They're, they're bows. Well, it looks like you could oh, kill. They're you're in the blinded. Yeah, okay. you're in the blinded right now. You could kill that one. Okay. Enemy eliminated. There we go. Okay. Doing the damn thing. Can you attack? With melee attacks? If uh, they're floating? Yeah, you'd think you'd be you'd have to, because otherwise you'd be put in a really bad position. Laser lance. Um, I, I think, think I can. Yeah, yeah, that's one option. Do it. It's kinda hoping to see Aww. your melee attack though. Oh that's right, yeah. I was okay. hoping you'd get it I close will. and smack him around a little bit. Show him what for. I don't get up close. So why'd you put and show what fours? <laughs> <laughs> then why'd you give yourself a ranged weapon? I mean, I will eventually. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to. Oh, How many attacks do you have left? That. I can hell. It's not the game; it's me. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy eliminated. All right, okay, the network the level network was removed, so down. I guess you want to prioritize that one if you guys happen to be doing that one. Fuck you, robot. Oh yeah. man, we are burning our biscuits. Mm hmm. Nobody likes burnt biscuits. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, oh no! They killed another of your dudes, man, or your chicks. I'm sorry. All right, we well, should better kill now. And that little robot better be appreciative. Enemy. Yeah, and all the the losses you took mm -hmm. to do their goddamn Victory mission. Victory is ours. Of course it is. I never doubted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jinx was convinced she's in Objective these. completed. Okay. Alright, so you got some you got some good stuff for reward. Got a reward. Uh, and you're making a friendship. It would have been nice to look at that that NPC thing on the right there. Uh-huh. Jinx just clicks through stuff, guys. Because I haven't seen that either. I haven't really interacted with the NPCs much. So I thought that would be interesting to see how that works. I'll try and take a look at it if I ever interact with NPCs, guys. Okay. So you can... Oh, Need did you more? think of a name for your city? Oh, no, I didn't. I did <laughs> not even think about it. I guess it's Serenial now, guys. Yeah. Okay. You gotta build a new bird. That is all. All right. Well, at least I didn't die. You made it, Jinx. That's how I play. Like, it's not pretty, but, you know, it works. I mean, yeah, you won. All right, so I, have, I had no idea what I was doing. I completely forgot. I forgot about... How to play the fucking game like <laughs> i think i was planning to come over here to go fight those guys next yeah i think i was so that's what we'll do we did lose the unit so we might want to replace them. oh we got a replacement coming right now looks like i thought ahead not intentionally of course all right so we've moved our dude over to there uh and i think we're also exploring this guy here do you have explorer yeah, I got a swoopy guy. Oh, I guess I didn't see you use him. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Your turn was... Yeah, yeah. it was at the end of we, the turn. We were only watching part of your turn. All right, so this is the guy. Somebody told me in the comments, this is... And this makes completely sense. I didn't even think about... Oops, I didn't want him to wait. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to do at all. He's called the Prospector. And it's the Prospector the that does the prospecting. No. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, look at him. He's so, cute. so we can come over here and prospect like we did in that other place. That's mm -hmm. exactly what we're going to do because we do get some nice extra resources. And you can do that once in every sector. That is useful. You yeah. Just go around getting treasures. And I think that's the end of my turn. Oh. Nothing okay. else for me to that's do. That's all you had to do? Yep. That's all I had. I'm sure shit will attack me because why not? A lot of the other, the marauders do go and attack. Uh, but the NPC factions don't, I don't think. Oh, I didn't know 
trophy was selected. Come on, Same trophy. Shape. Oh, ah. oh no. <laughs> uh, you'd think something that flies would be able to take out a Well, it was shiny. I wanted treasure. Wanted that booty, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Okay. The sausage sands? Is that uh, what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Oh, the sausage sands, That's man. That's a bit weird, but... Those are the back, Bat Echo Cliffs. The what? The Bat Echo Cliffs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was like, what is Bat Echo? What does that mean? And those are the patron trees. That's where our patrons live. <laughs> and the Bat <laughs> Echo trees. Yeah. How, how difficult are those guys? No, let's take a peek. 340. Ah. I don't know what your power has dropped down to. You uh, should at the very true. least heal. Yeah. I don't know. Do you have to go into your I don't think so. I don't I think they just heal every turn. I don't even know if you need to stop moving. I don't think you do. Uh yeah, yeah I, I don't actually they know. They do look like they need to heal. I don't think you need to go in your lands to heal though. Oh, and did you see that notification on the right there, Jinx? You can annex your first sector. Hooray! You've grown large enough cuz remember guys, Jinx put her focus into population into food. So she's growing faster than my city. So she'll be able to, uh, she'll be able to get a, a sector. So I don't think we've shown that yet. No. So you'll get to pick which one you want. You have to send an army to it. I oh, guess okay. the, you're going to get the factory specialist core. Because that's yeah, right next to you. That's the one I was Oh, there's for. some goodies right there too. You oh, need to pick that. Yeah. yeah, that's a pickup that you, you can get. you just get like some energy or yeah, something? Yeah, if you click on it, it'll tell you what it gives you. Or don't. So... One thing I posted in the comments of the last episode, guys, is that, you know, we were talking about Jinx went for the food one, and I went for, oh, what's this? Oh, these are one of the NPCs. These are the spacers. So they're kind of like the Mad Max. Uh, they, like, previous, they used to be gamers uh, when before the Empire collapsed, and they just kind of sat around playing VR games, and then when everything collapsed, and of course, they lost they electricity. Yeah, so now they're kind of like, I guess they film it and stuff, like their battles and and, and all that kind of, of good stuff. Of course they do. Yeah, so they can watch it later. Gotta get those views. Uh-huh. So, uh, let's read what they had to say here. Hey, you look funny. Never seen clothes like that before. Looks all fancy and stuff. Spacers are a clan. We're the free people of this land and answer to no one. We take what we want, when we want, so you best remember that. We'll be keeping an eye on you. By the way, you got any black snacks on you? I'm guessing that's some kind of drug. So we could say we'll snacks. kick you lunatics off the planet. Uh, and then declare war on them. <laughs> Alright, we're here to offer you protection. And we can start a flourishing relation with the Spacers faction. Which, eh. I, almost want, I really want their area, so. <laughs> uh, so, I think you can annex them, though. So, this is what I wanted to look at. Was the relations here. And it shows where we're at on it. So, we're at neutral. And, I guess you slowly get it up. And I'd like to see where Jinx is at. Uh, it also describes what the Spacers NPC faction are. They're violent games that roam around the ruined worlds of the Star Union, looting anything of value. They originated from the masses that were kept subdued using infinite virtual entertainment. So there's an explanation there, guys, the one I already gave you. All right, we're here to offer you protection, I guess, for now. For now. So I said, that's nice, but we don't need protecting. Ever since the Empire fell and we were unplugged from Dreamscape, we've been left to our own devices. Actually, there's something you could do. Some business that needs taken care of. All right, so we'll take their quest. What kind of business. A pet and zoo. <laughs> they want a pet and zoo. Okay. So you're big and tough, right? We thought it'd be a good idea uh, to know, make a, you know, to make a pet and zoo. <laughs> we got these urges, and while the animals look so touchable, <laughs> but Dingo got his arm ripped off, and something swooped down and snatched up Baitmaster. Now they're br breeding faster than we can keep track. Could you destroy it? I'm sure it's not that dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we're going to accept this mission, guys. Why are you going to destroy the patent zoo? It's it's just it's just these critters that we'd have to destroy anyway, probably. Oh, they spawned a new one, though. Yeah. Oh. They're mating out of control. All right. So, yeah, we'll start heading over there. I think we finished. We did not finish them, I'm lying. All right. Well, let's take a look at what all we got here. Prospector has... Prospect of the Ridgeline Bluffs and has found some energy and some production. Excellent. Uh, we can now annex our first sector as well. Okay. Excellent. And we discover the Spacer's Dwelling. Oh, the dwelling of... Macabre Shanty Town. Jinx had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then we have... What's this here? 
Oh, a research station. So what I was saying, guys, before I went on a tangent about something else, is that while Jinx went for the food, I went for the production, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have got the resource, research, excuse me, the research uh, building. You might be able to delete buildings. Maybe not, though. I don't see anything uh, so that would can indicate. you dismantle. Can you? Oh, you can dismantle. Hmm. Yeah, I almost wish that I did go for it, but for right now, we'll use the production to build stuff quickly. Uh, I get these these units built out, popped out for us. All right, so we need to go find a sector that we want to gain. Uh, this is the warehouse district. Okay, so that would be one possibility. I think that the best one to get would be the Hannock Falls because there's the abandoned quarry there, which would increase our production even further. So yeah, I guess that's what I'll go for. Uh, but we need to take that unit out. So what I'm going to do, I know that we got that quest to go over there, but I'm going to get us a sector first, guys. You I know we're just for bouncing all over the place. Yeah, they just told me I had a, that's why you see the plus sign there. Oh. Uh, so we'll get a sector next, my next turn. Uh, we have 10 turns to do the Pedden Zoo, so I, I feel like that's enough time to get over there. It's not enough. You've got little legs. <laughs> True. We do have little legs. Uh, so let's, I guess just go right here. Ooh, who is that? Oh, I think that's your buddies. Oh, are those more spacers? Zoos. Yeah, you're just surrounded by spacers and I'm surrounded by bots. Yep. All right, so the spacers faction is right I next like to us. Bots. Why can't I fight the spacers? We're not going to fight them. For right now, I'm befriending them. You are too damn close. <laughs> There's no <laughs> way you could be friends. True, because yeah, I'm tits. yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about like the fact that they've got that really good building. But remember, if you befriend them enough, then you can annex some things. Who's are that red monster dude? Yeah, look at that monster dude. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna annex that spot, you're gonna have to win there. Damn it! It's 460 power. Oh, he's Ebot Roy two. All look right. Flex. Look at them muscles, man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I know about these guys. These guys are like the... Distracting fair. Are they sex bots? <laughs> I don't think so. That's kind of weird. I don't think they are. I think they're like the gladiators or something like that. I don't know. There's some lore for them. I read about it on the developer diary. It's interesting. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, you have to fight a lot of the same units. Them. What is your power looking at? 460 to 504. Yeah. Yeah, that's too close. Didn't you just build a unit, though? I don't know if it built. Oh, you could grab that, that uh, the goodie yeah. over there. Yeah, you have a... Oh, okay. You just finished Amazon. Like, go join your friends. But yeah, you could have a meetup. And then, uh... I don't know, I think you probably have good odds then. Ooh, what'd you get? Shield Breacher Rifle. Did you want to read it first, Jinx? Something about spacers. This convoy seems to be the site of a failed spacer raid. A skeleton in spacer apparel was found inside the wreck, still clinching the valuable item. That led to its demise. All right, so... So it killed it, huh? <laughs> so you'll get that Overwatch. primary weapon what? that also has... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of your units don't have Overwatch. I'll take it. It's for heroes, though, so... Aww. So it's I, just for my person? Well, or any of the heroes you get later. Combined forces. I don't think you could, you wouldn't be able to put it on yourself without giving up your cat thingy. Oh, that's all I got. I don't want to give up my kitty. All it's right. my best friend. Stash is pal. Yeah. It's the only one I can trust. <laughs> These hoes ain't loyal. Alright, so we're going to get our first sector, guys. You can also claim the seas. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's go ahead and grab Hannock Falls, guys. The Guilty Coast. So we're going to annex the sector as a province for Kiev. Uh, and remember, this does give us the abandoned quarry. Why didn't you have to kill anybody to take your I shit? I did. You don't remember me already killing him, Jinx? No, I didn't. Yeah, I already killed him. Oh, is that who you fought? The first battle was. Oh, okay. They were up there in that quarry, which I wouldn't be able to take uh, this yes. without having fought I them. See. So I already did it. All right, so we're gonna annex it. It does take one turn, but we no longer keep, need to keep the unit here so we can start moving them back so they can complete that quest. So I told you, you gotta go time. around and kill all the enemies in the province before you can claim it? I don't know with the whole province. I know that you have to do them if they're on this spot or if they're on these kind of spots. Mm, I see. I assume that enemies would only be on those two spots. Oh shit, Jinx. I got him. Well, he's cool. He is cool. 
Let's have him merge. And now my combat power is 780. All right, got excellent. got a dude who's got some legs. Yeah, I'm excited uh, about getting to use this this dude. Does he's he have Overwatch? Legs. He has Agile Overwatch. What does that mean? It means he's nimble. When this unit enters Overwatch, it is always considered to have full action points, regardless of how many it actually has. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know what that means. I don't know exactly know <laughs> either. When this, so he just does what he wants. Are your action points? In Overwatch, determine how many times you can fire? Maybe. I don't know how exactly that works. Is it saying I can enter Overwatch even if I don't have any action points? Is Possibly. That, yeah, I'm not entirely ha sure how it works. Just love to test it out. It's a heavy unit as well, so it cannot be staggered uh, by high-impact attacks. And do not turn to face their attacker when flanked. They can't. It still can be flanked, but you can't take advantage of the fact of, like, you know, attacking it while it's on the flank, and then turning it and then attacking on the other flank to get an extra, another flank bonus. Its abilities are the auto cannons and the concussive volley. Okay, interesting. Stagger resistance. It's got an expensive upkeep. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be costly for us, but we got pretty good energy production right now. Uh, what needs to be ordered? Oh, this guy does. I guess we'll keep on exploring. Kind of go in a circle, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Come on over here. At least there's not barbarians. You gotta rid from the lands. Mm-hmm. I don't think. <laughs> well, there are. There's the marauders. Yeah. And they spawn. They continue to spawn, and they get more and more challenging as the game goes on as well. Do they right. come from the Shadowlands? I don't know how that works. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they just spawn in empty places when there's nobody there. So we do have the ability to produce something, so I guess we'll go ahead and get the building that gets us the foreman. Uh, we'd get that in two turns. All right, so we'll grab that up. And that's the end of my turn as well. I get my text next turn, though. Nice. So that'll be exciting. Passing the controller off the jinx. And maybe you guys will see a battle. Maybe not, though. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess you've we're got, fully healed. You've though. got good combat power. You should be able to be him, Jinx. It'll be fine. It's going to be great. You're going to have to take risks. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. Name? Oh! Oh, that's my friend. Those are your friends. Why was there bad guys there? Uh-huh. No, those are the... That's them. Oh, okay. So... You're not going to be able to get that one. Damn it. Yeah, you can close the channel or start negotiating with them. Son of a You bitch. can eventually annex them, Jinx, though. That's why you didn't attack there. I that guess makes I'll sense. go here where it makes sense. There's the green light the district. Trees. Which is the exact opposite of the red light district. <laughs> Once you figure that out. What other what places do you have to the south? Just rocks. You got the rigid heights. Yeah, I would take a look at all the places. I'm talking about like that one right there. Does that touch you? It doesn't touch you. You got the windswept cliffs. What's Those there? Pretty. Yeah, let's take a look at the what they got there. Looks like they have something down there. Oh, an overgrown biome, so it's extra food. Oh nice. That would be a good spot. Uh, and then you can take a look at that other choice and see if that's a better one for you. Uh, up in the north, you won't better get that one because I don't think it touches you. I might be wrong, though. See, that one doesn't have anything extra. But it's pretty. <laughs> you can get it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's easier. You can get it immediately, too. You don't have to True. fight anybody. Oh, well, if you go the other way, you're going to have to fight those guys. That's fine. I'll do some combating. All right, so Jinx gets her techs next turn as well. I forgot oh, you put him in. Sneaking. That's. I thought you didn't move him that last turn. Oh, it's because wow. you had him in guard. Yep. Thought that was kind of strange. Go check out the sausage sand. <laughs> that's great. They're very fertile. <laughs> uh huh. Potential colony location. And uh, look at the name of the mountains. Exploitation range. So basically, it's very fertile sausage. Oh. So if you're looking for a baby, this is that's the place disturbing. to go. It's a place to go. I don't like the it. The Igloo Growth Chambers. I love the names, yeah. the random names that pop up on here. I feel like they really are random. Mm -hmm. like they just threw some ridiculous words together. <laughs> like, we're going to name some shit silly. The turns are fast, man. I don't know if that's just because of the PS4. But yeah, they're pretty fast, guys. Empire Task, the technologist, has been unlocked. If a man with a spade could build a hovel, imagine that he might... Okay, so... Uh, you get this if you apply unit mods to five separate units uh, and use five tactical operations in combat. 
Okay. So let's take a look at those, because we haven't shown them yet. The objectives. So these are the objectives uh, for Unity, Military, and Development. Uh, and then you get these different quests here. Uh, so let's try and see where that one is that we just got. It's right here. So there's that quest. And completing these gives you different rewards. Just wanted to show you guys what that was. Uh, let me see what else. I also have some other thing here. Oh, we sector finished the sector base. So now my empire has grown, Jinx. The purple has spread, or blue, or whatever the hell color this is supposed to be. Like looks, weird looks more purple. It does look purple. All right, so let's hurry up and get over here, guys. We only got eight turns to establish destroy the petting zoo. Destroy the petting zoo. We're going to help establish the petting zoo by no, destroying the destroying baddies. It. Well, we're destroying it. The critters? The bad ones, so that we can get the good critters. Which is all of them. More pettable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. We'll have to pick that up. It's an imperial energy stash. Our zoo had a petting zoo with goats. The All right, so what did we unlock here? Fortification or armoring is often so we got the fortification tools. Uh, this is... This unit's trenches become fortified trenches instead. Oh, okay, so this is for the trenchers. Construction director so pretty useful for them. Rumble Barricades Company. Uh, we got the Iron Breaker modifications. Uh, melee attacks bypass three armor. All right, that seems pretty good. And then the general alert protocol. This is a tactical operation. All of our units gain uh, alert protocol for one turn. Okay. So we want to go and start the next research here. Which we might get the subjugation uh, ordinance just because we can get it in a nice three turns. So yeah, let's go and get that. And we know we're going to want to probably go down all the trees. What do we want to do next over here though? The aquatic get development would allow us to, yeah. Yeah, get the water, but let's we do the, the area. Guilty Bay, surveillance. The coast, or whatever the fuck it was called. The Guilty Bay? Is that what yeah, it was called? called? Guilty Coast, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Guilty Coast, because this is where naughty things happen along this ridge line here. That's the water the... tiles are really nice. It's a pretty good looking game, I feel. Lots of colors and textures. Uh, oh, and that's right, I have to build the second thing. Our colonies require the means to. Uh, so we need to exploit the sector. Ooh, my bad, I'm just clicking all over the place, guys. Uh, so we need to decide how we're going to exploit that. Uh, so remember, it uh, which one you want to pick should be based upon the resources that are here. Uh, so if we look at this, the abandoned quarry gives uh, the plus mineral production. Uh, so it's going to always give 10 production to the colony it's linked to. But it grants an additional five production when in a production exploitation. So we get extra production if we do it that way. We also get the mountains here, so that increases production levels. Frankly, it does seem like we might need to create another production sector, which means I'm just going to be like balls deep <laughs> in production, guys. That seems <laughs> fitting, though. Yeah, but we're going to grow really slow and research really slow. Yeah, you got no food. And I don't have any buildings to build to make up for it. What did Jabbar even eat, anyway? Mm, I don't know. What do what did dwarfs eat? I don't even know. I couldn't tell you. Well, dwarfs eat, like... Fuck, I don't know. What do dwarves eat? I don't know. If you guys tell us, I know they drink a lot Snacks? of beer. Maybe yeah. they don't eat. They just drink. All right, so we're going to do the industrial exploitation just because I feel like that makes the most sense, guys. It's... I know that we're going to be just swimming in the production, but it is what it is. Uh, we now have 110 production as of right now. Uh, so Jinx is telling me that the time's almost over, but we did have that big long in there, like good, I don't know, three, four or five minute intro or whatever when I talked about the store. So we're going to let Jinx have another turn here, unless she's going to battle, <laughs> <laughs> which in which case we'll be leaving this episode off in the same way we left last episode off. I didn't think I'm going to battle. Oh, did you meet the spacers? Oh, I guess oh, so. Oh, yep, at the Igloo Glowth Hey, chambers. you look funny. Oh, I think that's the same, same thing, thing we just read. Like, let's be friends. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna kick your ass. The fun police. Every time we go party in the Elysium parks, we get hounded by these good-for-nothing losers. They say we're too hard on the androids. Could you do us a favor and send them back to the Dark Age? Preferably in pieces. We've got some loot stored back at the guild. It's yours if you help. Is that what you think the spacers sound like? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, yeah. Right, I don't know so, if I want to be friends. I mean, you could just destroy them. Like, you could tell them no. I don't want to. You could just decline. You don't have to do the mission. Uh, yeah, 
I suppose I don't. Up to you. Because I'm already friends. Are you declining? Yeah. I'm already friends with the bots. Or I'm gonna be. We're gonna be best friends. So if you press the left directional pod, you can go through your events. Okay, I was wondering how to do that. <laughs> so, you now have that same thing that I unlocked. The okay. The technologist quest. Uh, Serenio, oh, so you just produced your shrike over there as okay, well. Okay, my critter. So you have another critter. And I got a message. Oh, he's got another quest. Autonom artificial neural network energy needed. Autonom energy reserves declining. Jinx Burundi produces energy stores. Autonom mission active. Priority I. Construct energy cells for the autonom. Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> I like Jinx's Ottoman vo <laughs> autonom voice. I got, I'm, I'm digging that. You got one more quest over there. Foreboding darkness. Open their so you finished your research up? Darkness. I forgot to check my unit no mods, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so what you going for next? Fucking lasers, man. Incinerators. Heavy laser applications. Or a lot of choices. Or protection. Protective <laughs> grounding. Is that so I don't get knocked down? I don't know. You'd have to look at it. I have no idea what it does. One's a unit mod, which gives you armor and resistance to arc weapons. Oh, and then this is the friendly roots. Hmm. That I mean, like seems pretty roots. decent to me. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. Choop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so isn't there some, I think there's some goodies for you to get, apparently not. Goodies got got. Well, here's some goodies, but I don't know if I can have them. Isn't there, yeah, oh, yeah, there's I think a, there's a bug over there. Bugs. Take God damn shit. bugs, man. Rising that heights, That sounds like no an way. apartment complex yeah. <laughs> here, here in Colorado Springs, man. Oh god. The apartments, the man. Fucking apartments, man. They're ridiculous. We've lived in apartments for years, guys. Uh, we just bought a house a couple years ago. First house we ever purchased. Good God, we are spending an insane amount. Before you end your turn, don't forget that you have another event there. I don't know what that is about, but... Join forces. So now your combat power should be decent now. You're at 775. Okay, let's... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, you gotta pick what you wanna construct there. Is you that... can get a colonizer. Mm. Ooh, I should've built a colonizer. Damn. Yeah. Instead of that building that I was making. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I should have got that. I didn't even realize I could do that. I did get that tech though. Our colonies require the means to protect themselves and a reason to stay. At the very least, it's time to invest in some good old fashioned guns okay, so. and beer. Why is his name Dollar Smith? That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so is that the one you just got? Um, oh no, you got the front yeah, facilities. I did. So you still need to get the burn into wagoning. Yeah, I can just go ahead and go with that one. All right. Oh, you forgot to look at the event that you had. I knew you were gonna forget. All right. So this is just about the end of the episode. I'm kind of looking at a few things on my turn, but uh, we're gonna be ending it pretty soon here. There won't be any more battles or anything like that. I did want to take a look at what's going on here because I don't know why I didn't notice that I could build. I can't. Oh, he's up here at the top. That's what happened. All right, well, we'll go ahead and finish this because we only have one turn left. Uh, we could also get the recreational dome to improve happiness. Uh, but I think we are going to go for the colonizer. We definitely need that. It's going to be three turns to get it. Let's take a look at our units. I guess we could do that next episode. Uh, take a look at some of the stuff that we got there. Did I not get one thing I, I want to take a look here? Let's go to technology real quick, guys. I thought I had gotten... Oh, I did not get this up here. I should have got that. Oh, damn. Yep, instead of the area surveillance. I didn't even... I thought I had that already. All right, well, that's my bad. Whatever, we'll get this. Uh, it does have some, some nice bonuses, guys. Uh, it gives us strategic operations, uh, the player operations, which a native threat locator. Okay. And the global bonus here. Locks of capability ranking shown in the Empire Task Interface. Capability is provided, or is visible for your Empire and its allies. Okay. Uh, so it is a useful thing to have, but I wish I would have gotten the other one instead. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. The next episode, uh, I'll be advancing uh, on these guys. We're going to attack them. In fact, I'm pretty sure we'll have to do that my first turn. Maybe not. We might not be able to reach quite over there. It's hard to say. Uh, but if we can, we'll go and attack them and try and get this quest completed. 
Uh, and Jinx is going to be doing getting her first sector established. Uh, so do hope to see you on the next episode. Oh, look at this. What is Whales. that? Oh, they're marauders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're guarding that stuff that's octo well. Okay. Evil fishes. <laughs> Alright, yeah, they're guarding the Imperial Energy Stash there. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, again, if you're looking to purchase this game, if you use the link in the description of this video, then our channel will get a little percentage of the money you spend, so we do appreciate that. Uh, so hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.